Testing 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hello, bonjour. How are you doing? Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Plenty of action last night. I think this is the fifth video, maybe, I don't know. But today we're talking about the fact that, yes, of course, there's no more Oculus, RIP to Oculus. It's been changed to Meta Quest now, which means it will no longer be called the Oculus Store, but the Meta Store. And we're here to discuss about how you're supposed to log into your device since now there have been some changes. Will you need a Facebook account? Because Facebook, of course, is no longer the official company. Meta is now the official parent company of Facebook. So let's dive in. Let's go into the articles. Let me provide you this information. I thought it would be better to do it now than to wait you know, another 12 hours because I have to go to sleep of course at some stage all right so let me just transition over um so first of all let's let's start off with the engadget uh, article which um which which Bosworth basically is the uh, up and coming andrew Bosworth is the uh, next cto chief technical officer of uh, meta um so he says we're working on new ways to log into quest that won't require a facebook account landing sometime next year so this is the first thing the first thing is you may no longer need a facebook account in order to log in to your uh, meta quest or oculus quest if you of course still have an oculus quest at the moment now of course when oculus first introduced the fact that you had to use a facebook request when facebook introduced you had to use a facebook account to log into oculus quest a lot of people were very unhappy this caused a lot of issues in terms of privacy i personally sold all my oculus quest ones back then i had about nine of them because of my vr uh, startup business and it was just awful uh, and a lot of people started to create accounts and got blocked out completely because they used a fake name or they never logged into their facebook account so facebook thought hey this is a bogus account and then people lost all the apps and all the oh it creates such a big hoo-ha anyway let's dive back into the articles because there is more information to be shared with you guys uh, let me go to uh the verge which is a very comprehensive a uh, very, very comprehensive article. Uh, so it says, will the Oculus Quest still require a Facebook account? It's complicated. Facebook, which is now called Meta, knows uh, a lot of virtual reality has its owner. Hate logging in with Facebook. Uh, requiring Facebook logins created bad blood almost immediately, as I had mentioned. Zuckerberg mentioned, uh, as we're focused more on work, and frankly, as we've heard your feedback more broadly, we're working on making it so that you can log into Quest with an account other than your personal Facebook account. We're starting to test support for work accounts soon and we're working on uh, making a broader shift here within the next year so it's going to take some time guys uh, not going to be immediate i know this is a big deal to a lot of people not everyone wants a social media profile linked to all these other experiences um, so now there is a variety of different things which i will go through in just a second uh, oculus quest headsets which will soon be known as meta headsets have required a facebook account since 2020 um, the choice was so controversial that it apparently helped inspire Meta's rebranding. Now, this is very interesting, although I did do a video about this as to the actual reasons why there's a Meta rebranding. Um, you know, do go and check that video out. Uh, let me just go to our YouTube channel very quickly. It's here. Uh, I explained in the RP Oculus Facebook rebrands why they actually made the changes. So do go and check out that video. Plenty of good information there. And by the way, do remember to reshare um, uh, the video as well. Make sure that you like, you subscribe, enable the bell so the algorithm tells you when we upload new videos because we're almost at 10,000 subscribe subscribers in the community, community members. That means when we get more community members, I get stuff sent to me, I can review it, I can give it to you for giveaways with keys and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. All right, let's go back to the uh, article. Um, so there's a wide range of spectrum of possible changes that Meta could make. Uh, Facebook has so far committed to one limited change. If you use the enterprise-oriented Quest for Business program, which will begin testing in the coming months, you will be able to sign in with Facebook 
recently announced work accounts system. Businesses had a similar option under the earlier Oculus for Business program, so this is more of a feature reshuffling than a practical advance. Uh, Zuckerberg at Bosworth suggests that not only change we'll see, but Facebook is being cagey about the details. When I directly ask if users will be able to log into Quest headsets or the Horizon Metaverse platform uh, using something else besides a personal Facebook account or Facebook work account, a spokesperson only reiterated Zuckerberg's statement. So basically, they don't know at the moment, or they know, but they don't want to reveal at the moment, but they are looking to go away from the Facebook account. My guess, by the way, guys, is that you will need basically a um, meta login. They're going to create a meta login is what they're going to do. Uh, they're probably going to change the login to Facebook, Instagram, and all these different things with one login, which will be your meta login. And we'll have the whole drama again when that happens. I think that's basically what's going to happen, guys. Um, one way or another, they're, they're going to make us log in somehow, right? And then they'll use the data somehow, right? Come on, let's be honest. Uh, it doesn't matter if you don't need a Facebook account. Uh, okay, so here's what's happening at the set at the moment. Initial setup requirements, setup requirements. Zuckerberg committed Direct Connect to letting you sideload VR apps from outside Meta's official store, but you can currently can't reach that point without Facebook-based initialization process. While it doesn't seem incredibly likely, Meta could introduce a bare-bones setup that offers basic headset features without creating any kind of account. Now, personally, as I just mentioned, uh, I'll believe it when I see it. It's like saying I can walk on water. Uh, so you could sideload media the way you would on a laptop uh, or other electronic devices by bypassing the online Meta Facebook ecosystem, excuse me. Logins for schools, festivals, and non-business organizations. Lots of schools, film festivals, and other organizations use VR headsets. Typically, business accounts won't necessarily provide the best fit, and neither would personal accounts. Um, so Facebook has acknowledged and promoted all these use cases, so Meta is probably at least thinking about the issue. Public facing profiles and real names. Joining Facebook means creating a profile that makes your real legal name, along with some limited profile data, accessible to anybody else on Facebook. Even if you provide a credit card with your name for internal app purchases, any meaningful login change should let you create a Meta account that nobody else can look up and like non-Facebook Oculus profiles, it shouldn't use your legal name as your default username. So hopefully if we can create a Meta account, then we wouldn't have to provide a real name. I think that would be, again, it, we're just talking about login stuff, but not protection of data. Data partitioning. Even if you log into Facebook and your quest with different accounts, the same company owns both of them. All right, guys? We need to know this. Remember this. Facebook has long reserved the right to cross-check different accounts against each other so it can ban spammers or stalk from multiple services at once. But Meta should let you explicitly silo the data in each account. So there's no risk of your Facebook newsfeed engagement generating recommendations on your Quest store, for instance. But again, I need to see it to believe it. At the end of the day, I do believe they will have data. They will use the data to do certain things. And, and eventually the multiverse will have the same as a newsfeed of Facebook. And they're gonna integrate anything anyway. So <laughs> take it with a pinch of salt. Uh, so basically, guys, the gist of it, if I just go to Upload VR's um, article here to see if there's anything new that the others haven't said, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg signaled the company will be making it so you can log in the Quest without an account other than your personal Facebook account. Um, so, okay. Um So yeah, it is listening to people as what they're saying and basically they're not looking to impose Facebook accounts uh, as everyone is saying. Um, the new Quest for, okay, we just spoke about this. So, oh, this is something new. So Facebook confirmed on a call earlier this week, the current Quest for Business headset did not have access to the Oculus or Meta Store content uh, as they ran on a different software platform and use a different uh, stock keeping unit SKU 
code. However, the new MetaQuest for Business program will be provided as an option on consumer headset models uh, with access to all the same content. Okay. Um, okay, so the changes will be incoming in 2022 and not now. And by the way, there will be also some apps apparently which will not be accessible anymore um, with the new Meta Quest and I'm sure that they're going to be listing these uh, very shortly. So basically the gist of it is that at the moment uh, you can go into your Meta Quest into the Meta Store. Leave a comment below. Let me know when these changes have come across. Let me know if already now you can't see Oculus inside of your Oculus Quest, uh, whether it says Meta. Take some snapshots, email us. We'll, po the, we'll post them on our YouTube channel. You know, leave some comments below. I'd love to get your feedback as to all these different changes because I don't have a Meta Quest. I don't have an Oculus Quest 2 or Quest 1. So it'd be great to get your feedback whether you have the Meta Quest 2. Um, you know, leave a comment below as I mentioned. And make sure you hit subscribe, uh, you know, so that I can upload, you get notified when I upload that video uh, next with your pictures. If you can email us the pictures, um, you can get your email from the about section. Just go to the about section in our uh, YouTube channel and the, your email address is there. It's basically ask.info at Essentials. Dot io very simple ask dot info at vressentials.io so very simple there send us an email with a picture a snapshot if you can uh, of your inside if you see it's meta and i'll give a shout out to you in the next video uh, when i post that up so that'll be fantastic guys thank you so much for watching today's video you guys are super awesome remember to like share subscribe enable the bell and reshare the video so we can reach 10,000 subscribers guys that would be super awesome all right, I'll see you in another video. Big, big news, guys. Oof. Huge news today. Take it easy. Ciao.